Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE dishwasher gasket spring. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new gasket spring. The gasket spring holds the door gasket in place. The manager should be changing it out so if it's lost or damaged and you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door. Now that we have the door open, we're going to reach in and pull the lower rack out. All you have to do is pull it all the way out, then lift it off and set it aside. Now that we have the lower rack out of the way, we have access to the gasket spring. It connects the door gasket on each side. So we're just going to lift up this part of the gasket right here. And then you can see the spring coming out. We're going to go all the way to the other side and get this end of the gasket to come out. Once you have both ends of the gasket free, you can pull the gasket spring out. Once you have it free of the gasket, we can pull the gasket spring off the dishwasher. Here's the old gasket spring next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you put the new gasket spring in, you want to make sure you align it right. You want to make sure that the little bump right here is in the up position when you push it into the gasket. Once you have it lined up, you can carefully push it into the opening in the gasket. Once you have it pushed in all the way, we're going to make sure the gasket spring goes underneath the door. And we're going to run it over to the other side. And then we can put this side in. And flex it so it goes underneath the door panel. Once you have both ends in place, you want to make sure the door gasket is pushed in all the way. And it's sitting flat so you get a good seal. Once you make sure you have the gasket pushed into place, we can put the lower dish rack back in. To put the lower rack back in, all you have to do is set it onto the rails and push it back into place. Once you have it all the way in, we can close the dishwasher door, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.